award-winning Beyond Vaudeville program, Holiday Spectacular, with your host, Frank Hope, and your co-host, David Green, Mad Magazine mastermind, William Gaines, attorney M. Vincent Hayes, the Public Access Choral Society singers, a dramatic Yuletide reading by Leslie Holcomb, Joey the Monkey, and lots and lots more. Yeah, thank you, and welcome to our holiday uh, spectacular. And uh, thank you, Mr. Wallowich, for, uh, for accompanying us there on the opening, uh, for our special opening. And uh, Mr. Wallowich will join us uh, later for a very special uh, song. Uh, but uh, please, uh, Mr. Wallowich, if you'd like to have a seat, uh, please uh, uh, stay with us here. Uh, Okay, and I uh, just want to quickly show you some things. Uh, we want to show you the Adams Family cereal that you can get. And uh, we're very excited about this because it has a free uh, poster on the back. And it's actually Carl, uh, Carl Stroiken, the lurch guy, who was on the show. So we're very proud to have uh, half this Adams Family uh, cereal. And it's good, too. They give uh, ghosts, uh, ghost, uh, heads, and the thing hands. And then, David, maybe you could pass them down to Leslie. Uh, I know you don't want any. Why don't, uh, Leslie, do you want to see this? Uh, Perhaps later on. Perhaps okay. later on. Okay, Leslie Holcomb will be, joined, be sitting with us uh, as we get uh, going here. Uh, oh, okay. I also want to show my E.T. Uh, candle, Christmas uh, candle. And, uh, and he's holding a little tree. And it's hard to see, but I kept it wrapped in plastic so it doesn't get uh, corroded. And uh, also, uh, I want to uh, mention the... Uh, uh, Pringles, uh, newfangled uh, potato chips. They used to be called newfangled, but now they're calling them original, and I don't know why that is. But, uh, uh, oh, I guess the snow is starting uh, to fall. David, why don't you sit down a little bit uh, over there? Okay. Okay, you're not supposed to do the snow yet. All right, sit down, David. We have a lot to get to. Uh, okay, I want to show some, uh, okay, special uh, holiday uh, albums. Uh, the, we've got the, uh, the uh, super... Oh, not my E.T. candle. Oh, boy. Oh, all right. Let's, uh, David, please, let's try to get going here now. Uh, I want to show some holiday records. Uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman did a record, Christmas record. And a holiday record, too. We want to, uh, you know, don't, not forget our Jewish friends, too. Uh, Robert Goulet doing his uh, songs. And, uh, oh, the Pink Panther Christmas. Remember that one, Dave? Right? And uh, who else? Oh, uh, the Hawaiian Christmas. The Pac-Man Christmas. This is one of my favorites. And the uh, the Jets uh, football team does a, a record. And uh, also, this is also one of my favorites. This is the Grandma Moses uh, Christmas album. And I'd like to play a little bit of it. And uh, it's very uh, it's very entertaining. She tells little stories about her Christmas uh, times. Maybe we can just listen. It'd be a nice moment, right, Leslie? David, we won't play the Grandma Moses uh, record anymore, but that's a little taste of it, and maybe sometime when David's not here on a holiday special, we can listen to the whole thing. Right. And, uh, all right. Now, uh, at this, uh, there's snow uh, also on the show today uh, because it's the holiday season, and uh, some had already fallen uh, before, I guess, on David. But, uh, um, okay. And uh, maybe... Uh, all right, David. Well, oh, David's getting up so our next guest, can, first guest can come in, right, David? And uh, we want to welcome uh, somebody we're very uh, proud to have on. Uh, we want to welcome the, the uh, genius behind uh, Mad Magazine, the one and only Mr. William M. Gaines. And, uh, this is, uh, hello, Mr. Gaines. Hello, Hi, Mike should be around there somewhere. Uh, there, oh, right over there, on the see on the, yeah. Just clip that on, and uh, we should be all right. Uh, now, uh, 
Mr. Gaines, I was uh, very excited to have you on because I've been uh, reading MAD for so many years. And uh, I, if you don't mind, I'd just like to show some from my collection. Uh, and if you have any thoughts, maybe you can uh, just jump in. Uh, I, I, this is my oldest one I have, the number nine. And uh, uh, now this was about when that this came out? Uh, about 1953. 53, and uh, these are very collectible now, right? Uh, oh, quite, yeah. And, uh, and uh, now that's when it was just a comic book size, but then it went on to the, uh, the bigger size that it is today, and I have some uh, holiday uh, uh, meds that uh, were done for the uh, occasion, and uh, maybe you can see that uh, on there. Look at those. I always love the covers, and uh, and the, my favorite part has always been the fold-ins. Now, how did how did you come up with the idea for the fold-in in the back? Uh, well, Playboy had its fold-out, so we had our fold-in. <laughs> oh, well, I never uh, I never wanted to do the fold though because it, it you know would wreck the back cover, so I never wanted to do that. Well, part, that uh, was the idea. You have to buy two. Oh, okay. Now uh, you also have from all over the world. I have a German med here, and uh, now how many of these are around the world? Uh, we have 12 foreign editions. Wow. Wow. And, uh, and now, uh, now also, uh, there were some uh, bad uh, mads. They tried to do these other mads, but I don't think it was you, Mr. Gaines, because they weren't funny. This uh, Sick magazine. Never and, heard of it. And uh, Crazy magazine. These, never heard of that either. I never thought these were funny, but I bought them because I thought it was like mad, because it looked just like mad. And uh, I didn't know. Uh, no, it didn't look. I don't mean it looked like mad. You know, I meant, uh, okay. Well, why don't we, uh, now, you now have a book out, uh, Completely Mad. And this is the whole history, right, of the magazine? Yeah, that's a beautiful book that uh, Little Brown just put out. It it's, goes for thirty nine ninety five cheap. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, it's Marie, Maria Reidelbach wrote it, and it is a complete history of MAD, including pictures of all the covers, well, right it, up to the present. It's worth every uh, penny, if you ask me. And uh, now, uh, now, one thing that I thought was very interesting about you, Mr. Gaines, is that you scored a uh, perfect score on your chemistry regents. Is that right? Uh, this, this, unfortunately, is true because it sent me into a career of chemistry, which I flunked out of. <laughs> okay, and uh, but but that was your best subject. Did you get a, any other good scores, or was that not, not that good? Okay, uh, now and also uh, as a big comic book collector, uh, I'm very excited. You have uh, I'm told you have the original Superman uh, comic strip. Is that true? Or? Well, I had the original Superman sketches. Oh, and uh, I gave them back at their request to Jerry Siegel, uh, to uh, Siegel and Schultz. Okay. And uh, well, that that would be. I'd love to have something like that. Uh, and uh, I'm also told that you uh, have one of the biggest collections of uh, Statue of Liberty uh, memorabilia. This is true. My wife and I have probably the best collection of miniature statues in the country, maybe the world. Wow. And nine of them are by actually by Bartoldi himself, who did the statue. Wow. And uh, why, why is it that you like that so much, uh, the Statue well, of Liberty? We just, we just have, a, have a love affair with the statue when we started collecting these statues, little statues. Now, you also uh, uh, like the uh, Nathan's hot dogs, I was told? Uh, ah, one of my favorite foods. I like them, too. They make the little ones now, too, for the... Uh, do you like those for the pigs in the blanket kind? Uh? I, I've never run across them. I like big ones. I, I think, like big everything. Okay. <laughs> well, I think they just came out, and uh, uh, you know, that's why. I, uh, well, anyway. Uh, also, uh, uh, now, uh, Mr. Gaines is uh, known for Mad, but also for the uh, for the uh, famous uh, horror comics of the '50s, uh, Tales from the Crypt, and all those great uh, uh, books. And those are very popular again now, right? They, they've had a, a, a renaissance, and uh, uh, Homebox has put on a, a very successful series of stories from the old comics and it's so successful that they tell me it's the the best original programming that ever played on home box wow and did you ever think that uh, all your uh, creations would would become like this this big or? no never <laughs> it's it's really uh, impressive and uh, now uh, now also uh, i have to uh, ask you you uh, are uh, with the brotherhood uh, church of the universal brotherhood and you perform weddings uh, mar marriage well i bought a i bought a uh, for $25, I became a member of the Church of the Universal Brotherhood. Oh. And I am able to perform weddings because I'm a minister. I have never done one because I'm afraid they might not hold up in court. 
<laughs> so I could be a minister for just $25? Uh, well, they might have raised it to 50 now. I did this a long time ago. Okay. Uh, they probably wouldn't want David uh, for any price, right? Uh, That's probably true. To do yeah. that. <laughs> I agree, uh, Mr. Gaines. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Gaines, we want you to uh, stay with us, but we do want to bring out uh, some of our other guests, if you don't mind. Uh, oh, uh, okay, well, uh, our, if our next guest you heard a little bit of before, and now uh, he's going to do uh, a, uh, a very original song, Christmas Love, and this is the debut of this song, Mr. Wallowich. Hey. It's not an up song, guys, but you know, it's uh, about that sentimental time, and uh, that's what this song is about. My hand lady, my divine Pat Windsor, excuse me, my producer. <clears throat> Silver bells are ringing, it's Christmas once again. Children greet the cold and snowy weather. Wintry skies, twinkling eyes, shining stars, glowing, glowing. Round the tree are faces of loved ones, sweet and true. Dear familiar faces, one of them is you. Assistant there, uh, Miss uh, uh, Pat Nemser, right? Uh, Pat Nemser. Uh, well, I've known them of uh, you both. Okay. And uh, Miss Wallach, if you want to stay, maybe just spin around. You can stay with us because uh, you're going to help us play later, right? Sure. Okay. I'll just stay here. Sure. If you just want to spin around, uh, that's uh, fine. And uh, now uh, our next uh, guest uh, isn't uh, really uh, a holiday theme, but he has some very uh, interesting news to share with us. And uh, we'd like to welcome, uh, he's a lawyer, Mr. Uh, M. Vincent Hayes to the program. Thank you, Mr. Hayes, and uh, there's a microphone there for you. Uh, now, uh, this is a little bit of a change of uh, pace from the holiday, uh, Mr. Hayes, but uh, you have some interesting information to share with us about uh, Marilyn Monroe, right? Uh, that research you've done? Or yes, uh, I... Uh... <coughs> wrote a paper about Marilyn Monroe, DiMaggio Miller. It's uh, really uh, Marilyn Monroe, Doherty, Slatzer, DiMaggio Miller. He had these other husbands in there. And she was definitely murdered. The, uh, the autopsy report showed that it was uh, the, the Barbiturates were found in her bloodstream, and this uh, <coughs> shows it could not have been an oral overdose of medication. Now, why did she die? Well, she was a blackmailer. She, she was writing an article, autobiography in Life magazine, and she was so upsetting John F. Kennedy, our great president, that he concluded she was a communist. <coughs> She had urged him to stop atomic testing at a luncheon a couple of weeks before her death. And she had the, the worst thing she had, in addition to the, the autobiography going in Life magazine where she was criticizing Kennedy badly, was that she had the love letters of Bobby Kennedy to her, which she was using as blackmail to force Bobby to divorce Ethel and marry her. And uh, I believe it was the CIA, there were, there were uh, uh, murder tapes made of Kennedy calling payphone uh, to CIA operatives uh, in Los Angeles a week ahead of time. 
These were known as the Monroe murder tapes. They were seized later uh, in a police raid up at Holmes, New York, on the uh, the wiretap school. Okay. Uh, well, that and that's very uh, interesting, Mr. Hayes. Now, now we're offering a hundred. Okay. Uh, we're all, Robert Robert Schlatzer, one of her husbands, right. and I are offering a hundred thousand dollars reward for the discovery of the whereabouts of a James Stark Hargadon, H A R G A D O N, formerly addressed to General Post Office Box 657, New York, New York 1001. A hundred thousand dollar. Well, we want to find this man because he had for many years these love letters, which are really uh, the property of Anna Strasburg. Okay. Well, very good, uh, Mr. Hayes. And uh, I, uh, uh, that's, uh, I, I should, I think usually when they uh, have these shows like America's Most Wanted, they say that the opinions are just the uh, person that said them, right? Uh, uh, right. Uh, and, uh, but, but it's a very interesting theory, uh, Mr. Hayes. And uh, maybe I can give you a candy cane in return if you'd like. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, would you like one, Mr. Gaines? Or, oh, I love it. Okay. And uh, Mr. Wallowich, uh, maybe? Okay, Leslie, you want one? Uh, after the show. After the show, okay. Show. David, you want one? Uh, okay, maybe not. Uh, now, uh, uh, now, uh, Mr. Uh, Gaines, do you uh, uh, do you uh, believe some of these uh, theories on on different uh, different theories on people uh, who got into problems and uh, and? Uh, I really have no information. I have no opinions. Okay. Well, uh, uh, Leslie, uh, did that? Uh, did you have any thoughts about the? These theories, or uh, no? I never paid much attention to the reports on them. I said maybe just a quick lesson to them. Okay. Whether it was murdered or not, I don't know. I wasn't an old effect on thing back then. I, mean, I was just born a few years earlier. By the time she had met her fate, so oh, but, uh, I wouldn't ever give it much thoughts whether or not she was murdered or who sort of went ahead. Okay, but a lot of interesting ideas there. Uh, there is certainly. A Right. Most of the, most of the articles I did read were in some of these victory bags I, I periodically pick up. Oh, yes. So how much truth there is to that, I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, now we do want to keep uh, moving and bring everyone out. And what we'd like to do is bring out the Access uh, Choir. And uh, these are our favorite uh, access uh, public access shows on uh, in New York Cable. And uh, we'd like to start uh, by bringing each one out. And the first one we want to bring out is really the granddaddy of uh, uh, public access TV. Uh, and uh, he's uh, one of the funniest guys. He's done his... Uh, uh, crank call show for a number of years, and uh, uh, please welcome Steve Gruberg. Wow, uh, this is a I'm getting old. They're calling me Granddaddy. By the way, yes, that's not my real name. My real name is James Stark uh, Oh, boy. Yeah. Yes. well, I'll dig into my wallet immediately. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, uh, well, uh, that's well. Maybe you get now. Maybe you'll get a hundred thousand dollars. I certainly that. hope so. Um, <laughs> Work on those letters. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, now you've been doing your show how long? Uh? Since May thirteenth, nineteen seventy-five. Wow. And uh, taken out. So you've seen a lot of shows come and go on cable. Uh, uh. I've seen my show come and go. As a matter of fact, oh. but yes. No, I, I have seen a lot of shows come and go. Okay. And. Uh, uh, but you're here to stay. Well, I, I hope so, uh, and uh, I hope you're here to stay too, uh, Mr. Gruber. Uh, and. Uh, uh, Everybody's here to stay, I guess. Uh, uh, all right. Now, uh, now we want to bring out everybody, and uh, our next uh, uh, guest we're going to bring out is a, another one of our favorite shows, and he teaches uh, great crafts projects uh, every year and uh, every day, every week. And uh, please welcome Mr. Mark Heskin. To the show. How you doing, Mr. Heskin? And uh, now, uh, Mr. Heskin, did you bring your? Uh, is that from the uh, article that was in the London? No, this is my Christmas carols. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I was just talking about uh, uh, he was featured in a uh, in a, a magazine in London uh, for your balloon show, your, right. the famous balloon show, right. and uh, where you had you weren't wearing anything but balloons, right? right. Yep. And you popped them all yep. uh, ex except one. Uh, oh boy. Uh, okay. And uh, now uh, you've been doing your show how long? For two and a half years. Okay, two and a half. And you teach uh, crafts projects, but you also do all kinds of different things. I do all different kinds of things, yep. Okay. Um, and I, I always do like a Christmas show. This year I'll be spending Christmas here in New York. 
not. I do a lot of my shows in North Dakota, but this year I went to North Dakota for Halloween, so I'm going to spend Christmas here in New York. Oh, okay. And uh, Mr. Uh, Heskin was also in uh, on Saturday Night Live as an extra in some shows, and you were on, in that act where Bill Murray had all was all fat and he was uh, uh, right. He didn't have on foreign dubbing or whatever it was. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure everyone remembers that one. And uh, now, but uh, we do have uh, 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 just uh, a few others to bring out, and uh, these uh, these are also favorites of ours. And uh, now, these guys have only been on about a year, but they're going to be on forever, I hope. And uh, uh, they are the one and only uh, G Street Gang, Hallie, Ivan, A.B., and Mark. Okay. And, uh, wow. Okay, you're all sitting there now. Uh, and uh, now this is almost like you guys, your show, with all these people. And and, uh, uh, and you guys just basically, you take uh, phone calls. Now, Hallie, is everything okay back there? Uh, hey, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> all right. And uh, now, uh, now you guys, who had the idea for the for your show, uh, to take these calls? Uh, 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 Hallie did. No, that was... Actually, it was your brother. Oh, it was my brother. Yeah, he walked into my house with an ice cream cone. Oh. He came up with the idea. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, was that, uh, is that your brother Earl? Is that... No. Oh, no, no. No, no. no that's... Uh, Earl's is... Uh, <laughs> okay, because there are all these inside jokes on the show, and I don't even get half of them. But you just have to keep watching, I guess, to get all the, the jokes. Uh, and uh, now uh, each guy sort of has a specialty, right? Uh, now, AB is a music uh, specialist. Uh, you're wearing your stick shirt, uh, AB, today. Yeah, stick shirt today. And uh, Mark special, uh, yeah. And Mark's specialty is uh, sort of. Uh, Telling these uh, jokes, I think. I don't know what he thinks his specialty is. Not that he tells the jokes, it's that he gets every joke if you tell him. Oh, okay. And uh, and Ivan is best known on the show for wearing the same clothes every week. Uh, <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, Hallie, I think, is sort of the ringleader because he always sits in the middle. But uh, but I guess it, everyone's a ringleader on the show too. Uh, and uh, now uh, now, do you guys all watch each other's shows? Do you know about each other? Uh, it's, yeah. yeah. Well, Steve, we know for sure. Okay. What is Steve, Steve's the best. They've got four other guys, and they stole my show. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. No, no, they do a terrific show. Uh, now, uh, now we brought all you guys together to uh, do some uh, carols for us, and uh, and uh, we'd like if you could do the Twelve Days of Christmas, and our Joey the Monkey will come out eventually and do some dancing with it.
Joey, before you leave, you have a mistletoe over your head, right? And that... Oh, oh boy. Okay. All right, Joey. Thank you. Now, uh, what did everybody get? Uh, okay. Oh, he's giving everybody a little kiss there. Okay. Oh, there you go, Mr. Hayes. And Okay. All right. Uh, Come on, Okay. Uh, maybe not David, Joey. Uh, okay. Now, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Leslie, maybe you better start doing your reading now. Uh, okay, we're... be advised, this is going to be... Okay. No, yeah, all right. Uh, That's a good boy. That's Leslie, good. we have to close now. Please start your reading. <laughs> all right. Well, go ahead. It's going to be an animated version of The Night Before Christmas, ladies and okay. gentlemen. Okay. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, and I repeat, there was stirring, not even on mouse. All those stockings were all hung by the seven year old grave. Okay, I mean, hope that St. Nicholas will soon be there. I want to thank all our guests uh, while well, Leslie. No, keep going, Leslie. Uh, thank, thank you, Mr. Gaines, for joining us, and uh, Mr. Hayes, and, uh, and uh, Leslie, and uh, all you access guys. Thanks for coming on the show. And uh, okay, keep going, Leslie. Uh, and thank you, of course, Wallowich for accompanying us. And David, maybe you can sit down. Thank you, Joey, for all those great gifts. And oh, there's the snow. Okay. All right. Be careful now, Dave. Okay. All right. Maybe this has to stop. Okay. Oh.